Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Steven. Thanks for coming back to Oda Treasure, my YouTube channel where I unpack these great fragrances that come in the mail and add them to my collection. And in this video, this is episode 55, I'm really, really excited about this one. This one, I mean, I like all my videos, but this one is different because this one, in my opinion, is a grail find, a holy grail find for this particular fragrance. So You've probably seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title of the video, you know what you're going to see, and I hope you're as excited about this as I am. So let's get to it, episode 55 on EDT. All right, guys, if you are fans out there of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, then you are going to love what is inside this box. So you've already seen it. I have shown you a video before. So you've seen this one already on my channel. Episode 13, I talked about this Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce bottle. This is the Red Label Silver Cap, the classic from the mid-2000s. So this came out, this one was probably 2003 or 2004. And then just a few videos ago, episode 50, I showed you this one. This actually is the same thing, but with the box. So there's one in here that is a basically a full bottle, as if this isn't full enough. This one is also right up to the top full so you have these two that i got recently and then you have this treasure that is in here that is just more rare and even better than these babies so let's check it out here all right if you watch the episode 13 on this one i talk all about why abercrombie and fitch fierce is really special in the uh, in the fragrance world the lore of this why this one is you know, just different and highly sought after, and it just brings a big feeling of nostalgia for people who like this stuff, more than a lot of other fragrances out there. Uh, because basically this was a lot of, uh, a lot of people out there, this was their first fragrance as teenagers, they wore this, so that's why they're attached to it. So when I saw this one online just a few uh, days ago and I bought it, when I saw it online, like, I got a chill down my spine. And the price was not too expensive, and I just said, I, I got to have this. And it was one of those things like, I have to act faster, it'll be gone. Uh, thankfully, it was priced, it wasn't priced low enough that it would disappear right away. It wasn't exactly uh, super cheap, but it was cheap for what this was and for what it is. And I knew that for this one, I only see something like this once a year, if that. And in this condition... I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in this condition. So even the ones on eBay, yeah, you can find this on eBay, but it's $250 or more. So this is like a unicorn in my opinion. You got to check this out. I mean, it's just incredible. All right. So it was floating around in the box, but it's it's in bubble wrap. I think it's fine. All right. So here it is. Here is an absolute original first year Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Here it is. And it's new. Of course, there's some dings on it. I'm looking at it right now, inspecting this thing. There are some dings on it. It's not in exactly mint condition, but this thing is new. Where do you see the bottle? So first, let's compare the boxes. You can see that this box is actually a little bit smaller than the one. So this is like the second year, second, third year, and this is the absolute first year. This might have been out for two years. I'm not sure. I just know that this is exactly the, the, the first type, the first one. So the the second year, the second edition is a little bit textured. This is just a smooth surface box. The logo is the same. Everything else is the same. You don't have the E symbol here. Look, there's the price on it. I can't believe it. Look how cheap it was. $32.50 when this was new back in 2002. Let's see the sides. Nothing there. How about the back? Basically the same. It doesn't say fierce made in the USA on this one. Oh, there is this kind of small made in the USA. Look at that. Okay. 
This one says, interesting, it says London, UK on this one. Columbus, Ohio, this one doesn't say anything about London or UK. Nothing on the top. That's it for this one. So let's go check it out, what it looks like on the inside here, what the bottle looks like. I can't believe I found this, guys. I can't believe I found it and it wasn't like 250 bucks or some crazy price here in Japan. I, obviously, the seller didn't know what they had. But they didn't price it exactly that cheaply. All right. Look at that. I told you that the original has a long silver cap. And here it is. This is what I'm talking about, a long silver cap. So if you compare it, you can see that the caps are a little bit different. Maybe it's not long. It just looks long to me in the pictures. I assume this is the first one. Maybe I'm wrong. But look at the difference between these two. Check it out. The Fierce is a little bit... I'm being really picky here. The Fierce is a little bit different. The uh, It's just about the same color, if not a little bit lighter on the first one. And there's a big difference. The body is totally different. It's a totally different body. Look at that. Uh, it's the same kind of like a bodybuilder type body, just like a jacked bodybuilder type guy. This this one, the definition is better. This guy's got better defined abs and pecs. And this guy's got like man tits. What can I say? I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Look how awesome this is. Just the, the fact that this is... And here's the sticker. Um, this is the security sticker. So I was just looking at the comments recently. And somebody who said uh, in the comments that they used to work at Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce how people used to go in the dressing rooms and just pocket this stuff. But that's why they put these... Uh, this is a... Uh, the security tag so if you go through the store the alarm will sound so they had this even on the first year assuming it's the first year if it's the second year guys tell me in the comments if you know more than me but I'm, my guess is that this is the absolute bona fide first ever Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce I mean look at this thing I, I'm in disbelief that I found it and this thing is full does this twist off or does it just come, it just pulls off? Look at this, look how full it is. Look at the bubble, it's at the top. This thing has been sprayed maybe twice, maybe three times. Look at that. What's on the bottom? Batch code 259381E. Cologne for men, 50 ml. Oh, how awesome is this? I mean, look at this thing. Look at this body. Look at this nipple. You know, I'm not usually rubbing man's nipples, but I'm going to make a I'm going to make an exception for this. Oh my goodness. I even said in the first video that when when this came out, I was in my early 20s. I was like 21 or 22. And um no, no I wasn't. I was old. I was like 24. And I, I thought that this was being marketed to gay men. I had no idea why they would have a guy with pecs and abs on a, on a product like this. And um, I, this makes me wish I was gay so that I can appreciate this even more. <laughs> I wish I were gay. This is just, uh, I can't believe how awesome it is to find this. Here's the cap. Take a look at that. And let's compare it when you take off this cap. See, this has this twisting mechanism, these two little um, knobs here, and it, it kind of locks into place. This is really cool, this kind of a, I mean, it's it's not quite a magnetic cap. Everybody loves the magnetic cap, but this thing does twist on pretty tight, but it kind of shakes around. You hear that? So it's a totally different sprayer. Let's focus this, how do we get it focused? Sorry guys, there we go. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm speechless. It was just uh, just a miracle that I found this, a miracle that I got this. And um, I'm going to give myself one spray. And that's it. I'm just gonna spray this once and smell it 
see how long it lasts. I'm going to be up for another few hours before I go to bed and see if it's anything like this. I should compare them. Maybe I'll do one more spray tomorrow. I, I just don't feel like doing uh, a spray on each hand, basically because um, I already have something on it. I'm going to do just that, actually. I'm going to test it now. I'm going to test this one on my left hand, and I'm going to test this one on my right hand, and uh, just see how it is. So I'm just going to give this one spray, because uh, every spray and this bubble gets um, bigger and bigger. We don't want that, because this is an investment. This is this is an easy 200 or 250 on eBay, because I see them sell for that, that are like half full. Uh, you just can't get these anymore in this condition, like new. Look at this. So here we go. Here's one spray. I'm going to give myself a shot here. Like, I'm sweating. Like, I have to I have to dry off my hands on my shirt. All right. Of course, it's not primed. All right. Two nice blasts. I just want to smell that alcohol right now. I don't care. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, that smells amazing. It smells better than these. Let me try this one. Okay. Let me see if I can tell the difference. Right, let me zoom in on that for you. Oh, I, I mean, I can't tell you it's a big difference. Like, I smelled this. It was pretty strong at first, and here it is like a minute later. It's just not... Maybe I'm just nose blind to it already. And this one I'm not getting much from. I don't know. I have to assume that I'm just nose blind to it and that this is just blowing up the room right now. So I'll get an opinion from my girlfriend when I'm done with this video, but... Uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you this this grail, this amazing first year Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Just it was uh, for me kind of a miracle to find it in this condition and at the price. I didn't tell you what it was. So seven thousand yen, and right now the yen is so low that. The, uh, the dollar amount is $48 and change. I got this for under 50 bucks. $48 and change. That's just part of the miracle of this. So uh, this is what excites me. This is uh, just, I, I just live for this stuff. And making these videos is fun. So I hope you appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you thought this was pretty cool. Leave me a comment, say hello, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. Just, just this is fun. Uh, this stuff comes in the mail, and I open it up, and just this is the kind of stuff that I'm finding here in Japan that's sold in the secondary market. And I just, I don't know what to say. I have another bottle like this that a buddy of mine that living here sent to me that he doesn't care about the value of it, and it's not full. There's like maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 or 20 ml left in it. And I have maybe three or four more of these, but this one in this condition, this is the best one I have of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. There it is. I don't know what else to say. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. I'm not going to quit anytime soon. I got a lot more coming, so thanks for watching.